January 4th, 2024. How's it going, guys? Well, I got another video for you. And what are we going to talk about? Well, we're going to do that part one of 30. And we're going to be starting on part three of 30 of comparing Kansas City with St. Louis and St. Charles. And what I'm going to talk about in this segment here a little bit, maybe a few other things, is the motel that we stayed at. Now, we stayed at the Comfort Inn, and I'm going to show that, so hold on. Okay, guys. Now, this is in St. Charles here. This is the Comfort Inn. I thought it was an excellent motel. I didn't see anything wrong with it whatsoever. I would get recommend it to anybody. I'd give it a five gold stars. Now, the only thing about this motel that um and it was just a breakdown was the elevator actually uh on a new year's eve night uh basically when me and my son had got in the elevator we were going up and you could smell the windings of the motors something smelled like it was burning and we got up about up to the third floor there and the light started flashing on the elevator door opened and anyway we got out and I called down, let them know about it, and then they put it out of service. But uh, like I say, but let's talk about the room for a minute. Um, the room, excellent for the value. It was around with tax and everything. It was about $129 for uh, two beds there. Uh, the beds were very, very nice. Um, soft, but firm. Um, not a large TV, just a normal TV. So if somebody's looking for some big screen TV in a motel room, that's not this. This is just a, a good, clean place to stay. And um, I want to talk about, also, they have a free continental breakfast. I've ate at a lot of different places and, and been in a lot of different motels, hotels over my life. And I would give this, like I said, I'd give this a 10. Uh, last time I was down at Springfield, uh, when the Springfield, they had a Hilton down there and their continental breakfast was just awful. I mean, it, it was nasty. And, uh, this place here, it was really good. I'm going to show that. So hold on. <laughs> okay, guys. Now this is just basic standard. Like you'd have at any other, if you're getting a continental breakfast, they had muffins, they had bagels. Uh, they had eggs, they had link sausage, uh, they had different kinds of juices there. They also had cereal and milk and stuff. But this was actually good. I was really, like I say, I was kind of leery about even trying their breakfast menu because there was a Waffle House down the, st the street down here from it, only a few blocks away. And like I say, last time I was at Springfield, <laughs> not good. So I thought, well, yeah, we'll try it. And uh, like I say, I mean, it, it would be good, just as good as Denny's. I mean, and uh, I wanted to show that. Now, the staff here at this motel, very prompt, very uh, polite, very helpful. Excellent. Now, also, also what I want to talk about is um, security. Now, the ends of the buildings basically are only for emergency exit only where they got them. And they're uh, in the lobbies and in the hallways. There's cameras all up and down. So basically, I mean, they're keeping all any, if there is any riffraff around that area, they're keeping it down and out. And like I say, seemed like a very, you know, safe place if you had kids, taking kids there. They had a pool. There's a lot of kids in the swimming pool. Pool's open till 10 o'clock at night. So, I uh, wanted to talk about that a little bit. Now, this is just a short little video. And I'm going to make one talking about Nolan Road over here. Because I was just over there this morning driving by. Kansas City's got a lot of problems with uh, uh, prostitution and drugs over in those motels and stuff. And I, oh, I got another one for you. Actually, somebody even had lights in one of the motel rooms lighting the window up. <laughs> if you want to check that out, check that out in my 
part four comparing Kansas City to St. Louis and St. Charles. So hold on, guys. Oh, yeah, guys, what I want to show when we were actually going back into the motel. I mean, you can see there's nobody actually hanging out. You don't have any, uh, you know, homeless or any prostitutes or anything else hanging around the motel or anything. And I was going to show. And there we go, right there. <laughs> so hold on. Okay, guys. I would definitely give this motel a 10. Uh, no problems whatsoever. Everything was clean. Uh, there was no bugs in the room. I mean, sometimes you go in motel rooms and they've got cockroaches or other different things or silverfish or different things like that. This was neat. This was clean. And I mean, it was well maintained at this comfort inn. So... This, like I say, this is one of 30 that I'm doing here. And my next one, I'm going to be comparing it over to the one over here on Nolan Road. It's, a, it's actually a quality in a little bit. I'm going to show some things. Now, I've posted uh, basically lots of things that have gone out. They, they let people hang out out there outside and stuff at this one over here on Nolan during the weekends and stuff or at nighttime, even during the week. Not good, guys. Uh, they've had uh, prostitutes going in and out over there, too. Um, there was comments on, you can check on the, the internet itself. Um, one person said that this place, well, they'd never go back. They said the pool was down at one time. Whether it is still or not, I don't know. But it said the place smelt like weed constantly. And uh, not good. Oh, and there was no, at this comfort in there in St. Charles, didn't smell no weed anywhere. Actually, didn't smell no weed anywhere at all in St. Charles or anywhere else. Even over there when we were at the Arch and everything else, we went through the, I guess that's supposed to be the richer area. We went to the poor area. Didn't smell nothing. Um, there was also one other comment that was made that I'm going to show later on too. That somebody made a comment about talking about, well, I was talking about the boomers. We're not talking about people just playing music loud. We're not talking, we're boom, but where you can't, you know, they're so stoned out of their mind, that's why they do it. And uh, we went through a convenience store, a couple convenience stores at the time, got some gas over there. Nothing. Pull one of our convenience stores here, anywhere in this metro, and I'll guarantee you, most nine times out of ten, you're going to hear that booming. That should be, like I say, I think they should ban it. I think they should outlaw it. And I think they should find the people that are doing it. They want If they want to boom like that, get them an area like what they were doing before they were doing their donuts and stuff. Let them go to that one area and boom all they want. But this other stuff, no. And it's not music. You don't hear words coming out of the, a lot of this stuff. So, uh, no. Nah. But uh, didn't have any of that either. And no, no open, basically, with people when it come to mufflers and stuff, every car had a muffler. They, did, they weren't running straight pipes. There was no straight pipes where you had open pipes. I mean, there was reasons. That's why there's, there was laws here in the first place to prevent all that and to prevent that chaos. And then Kansas City wonders why they are where they are. Well, it's stuff's not enforced, and people aren't fined and made to make these vehicles safe. Then where you, do you go from there? So, I don't know, guys. But anyway, this is a, a quick video, and I got another one I'm going to show. I'm going to show the red light district over here in Independence in Kansas City. In Independence, they got a light lighting up the motel, actually, window. So, I guess... They can turn it, they some LED lights so they can turn it to red. And so it's like, we're open for business over here in Independence. So anyway, if you guys want to, check my next video out. Have a good one.